Explanation of filter in electronics in 10 minute completely. In electronics, a filter is a circuit that selectively allows signals of certain frequencies to pass while blocking or attenuating others. Filters are essential for managing frequency ranges in various applications, such as audio processing, radio communications, and power supply conditioning. Here's an overview of the types, functioning, and applications of electronic filters. Filters in electronics are typically categorized based on the frequency range they affect and their design approach. The main types of filters include 1. Low-pass filter LPF. Function allows low-frequency signals to pass while attenuating, blocking, high-frequency signals. Applications used to reduce high-frequency noise and audio signals, filter out unwanted frequencies and power supplies, and in anti-aliasing filters for data acquisition systems. 2. High-pass filter HPF. Function allows high-frequency signals to pass while attenuating low-frequency signals. Applications used to block low-frequency noise, like hum from power lines in audio systems, enhance high-frequency components in audio processing, and remove DC offsets from signals. 3. Bandpass filter BPF. Function allows a specific range of frequencies a band to pass while attenuating frequencies outside this range. Applications widely used in radio communication to select specific frequencies in medical devices like ECGs to capture relevant biosignals and in audio equalizers to isolate frequency ranges. 4. Band Stop Filter BSF. Function attenuates a specific range of frequencies while allowing frequencies outside that range to pass. Types The Notch Filter is a specific type of band stop filter that removes a narrow range of frequencies like hum from electrical interference. Applications used to eliminate unwanted frequencies like the 60 Hz power line noise in audio systems or in signal processing to filter out interfering frequencies. 5. All-Pass Filter APF, function allows all frequencies to pass but alters the phase relationship between frequencies. Applications used in phase shifting applications such as phase correction, audio processing for 3D sound effects, and control systems. 6. Digital Filters Categories Digital filters are often classified into Finite Impulse Response FIR, and Infinite Impulse Response IR, filters. Function Operate on digital signals to remove or enhance specific frequency components. Applications Common in digital audio, video processing, image processing, and telecommunications. 7. Adaptive Filters Function Adapt their filtering characteristics based on the input signal or external conditions. Applications used in noise-canceling headphones, echo cancellation in communication systems, and real-time noise reduction in dynamic environments. Specialized types of filters. Chibushef filter provides a sharper roll-off than Butterworth filters, but with ripple in the pass band or stop band. Butterworth filter, known for a maximally flat frequency response in the pass band, often used when a smooth response is required. Elliptic filter offers the steepest roll-off for a given order of filter but introduces ripple in both passband and stop band. Vessel filter, known for its linear phase response, often used in audio and video applications where phase linearity is important. Each filter type is designed to meet specific requirements of frequency response, roll-off sharpness, and phase response making filters versatile tools for various applications in electronics and signal processing. Filters function by manipulating the impedance of electrical components to control how different frequencies pass through a circuit. They achieve this by selectively allowing or blocking frequencies based on the properties of the components used, such as resistors, capacitors, and inductors. Here's a closer look at how each type of filter functions. 1. Low-Pass Filter LPF, Design a simple low-pass filter can be made with a resistor and a capacitor RC, or an inductor RL, in series or parallel with the load. Functioning At low frequencies, the capacitor acts like an open circuit, allowing the signal to pass. At high frequencies, the capacitor acts like a short circuit, sending the high-frequency signals to ground and blocking them from reaching the load. Frequency Cutoff The cutoff frequency F C is the frequency at which the filter starts attenuating the signal and is defined by the resistor and capacitor values as 
equals 1 2 pi f c equals 2 pi r c 1 2 high pass filter hpf design typically consists of a capacitor and a resistor rc in series with the resistor connected to the output functioning at low frequencies the capacitor behaves like an open circuit and blocks the signal as the frequency increases the impedance of the capacitor decreases allowing higher frequency signals to pass through to the output frequency cutoff the cutoff frequency for an rc high pass filter is also given by equals 1 2 pi f c equals 2 pi r c 1 3 bandpass filter bpf design combines elements of both high pass and low pass filters it can be implemented with an lc circuit inductor capacitor or by using active components like operational amplifiers functioning allows only a specific range band of frequencies to pass while attenuating frequencies outside this band the low pass portion blocks high frequencies and the high pass portion blocks low frequencies allowing only the desired band to pass bandwidth and center frequency the center frequency is where the filter's response is at its peak and the bandwidth is the range of frequencies that pass the values are determined by the circuit's components and configuration four band stop filter bsf design also called a notch filter it combines a low pass and high pass filter in parallel with a frequency range blocked while others are allowed to pass functioning this filter works by allowing most frequencies to pass through unaffected but attenuating blocking a specific band of frequencies notch frequency the frequency that is attenuated the most the notch is determined by the values of the circuit's components five all pass filter apf design an all-pass filter can use resistors, capacitors, and operational amplifiers to alter the phase without affecting the amplitude of different frequencies. Functioning The filter adjusts the phase shift of various frequencies while allowing them to pass through without attenuation. This phase adjustment can be used for phase matching or correction in signal processing. Phase shift The amount of phase shift varies by frequency and can be set by adjusting the components in the filter. Component behavior in filters Capacitors act as frequency-dependent resistors, offering lower impedance to high-frequency signals and higher impedance to low frequencies. Inductors Opposite to capacitors, inductors offer higher impedance to high-frequency signals and lower impedance to low frequencies. Resistors do not vary with frequency, but they are combined with capacitors or inductors to set cutoff frequencies and control the filter's behavior. Active versus passive filters. Passive filters use only passive components like resistors, capacitors, and inductors. They do not amplify signals and are suitable for simple filtering tasks. Active filters use operational amplifiers, op amps, along with passive components. They can amplify signals and offer better control over the frequency response, making them ideal for applications requiring a more refined or adjustable response. In summary, filters use frequency-dependent properties of capacitors, inductors, and resistors to create selective barriers for different parts of a signal. This selection allows filters to remove unwanted frequencies or to shape a signal's frequency spectrum according to the desired outcome. Filters are integral in many electronic applications where control over specific frequency ranges is needed. Here are some of the primary applications. 1. Audio Processing Equalizers, low-pass, high-pass, and band-pass filters are used to control bass, mid-range, and treble frequencies in audio systems. Noise Reduction Filters remove unwanted noise, such as background hum or hiss, by selectively filtering out certain frequencies. Crossover Networks In speaker systems, filters split audio signals into different frequency bands sent to specific speakers, e.g., subwoofers, mid-range speakers, and tweeters. 2. Radio and Communications Channel Selection Bandpass filters are essential for selecting specific frequency channels in radio receivers and transmitters, enabling them to isolate desired signals. Noise Suppression Filters block unwanted frequencies and interference from other channels, improving signal quality. Demodulation 
Filters help separate the carrier signal from the information signal in AM and FM radio systems. 3. Power Supplies Ripple Reduction Low-pass filters smooth out the AC ripple and DC power supplies, providing a stable DC output. Noise Filtering Filters remove high-frequency noise or spikes from AC lines and power supplies, protecting sensitive components. EMI slash RFI filtering. Filters prevent electromagnetic interference, EMI, and radio frequency interference, RFI, from affecting power lines and sensitive electronics. 4. Medical devices. Signal isolation. In devices like ECGs, EEGs, and other biosignal acquisition systems, filters isolate relevant biosignals from noise and interference. Heartbeat and brainwave monitoring. Bandpass filters help capture specific frequency bands and biological signals for monitoring heart and brain activity. Noise reduction. Low-pass filters reduce electrical noise from surrounding equipment, ensuring accurate readings. 5. Signal processing and data acquisition. Anti-aliasing. Low-pass filters prevent high-frequency signals from causing aliasing during analog to digital conversion, which can distort digital signals. Image processing. Filters are used to sharpen, blur, or enhance image features by filtering specific spatial frequencies in image data. Audio processing. In digital audio, filters help with tasks like reverb, echo, and equalization, enhancing the quality of recorded sound. 6. Control systems and robotics. Sensor signal conditioning. Filters remove noise from sensors, ensuring more accurate readings in applications like temperature, pressure, or motion sensing. Feedback stabilization. Low-pass and all-pass filters stabilize feedback loops by reducing noise and phase shift, preventing system oscillations. Motor control. Filters manage noise from motor drivers, ensuring smoother and more controlled operation in robotics and automation systems. 7. Instrumentation and measurement. Precision measurements. Filters remove noise from measurement instruments, such as oscilloscopes and spectrum analyzers, for precise signal analysis. Vibration analysis. Bandpass filters isolate specific frequency bands, helping in monitoring machine health by detecting vibration signatures. Environmental monitoring. Filters help extract relevant signals from background noise in environmental data collection, such as monitoring seismic or acoustic signals. 8. Computers and networking. Signal conditioning and data communication. Filters and network cables and interfaces reduce interference, ensuring data integrity. Noise filtering. Filters suppress high-frequency noise and interference in computing and networking equipment. Timing and clock signals. Filters maintain clock signal integrity in digital circuits, preventing timing errors in high-speed data transmission. 9. Telecommunications. Frequency multiplexing. Filters help separate multiple channels or signals sent over a single line, each occupying a distinct frequency range. Echo cancellation. Adaptive filters help eliminate echoes in telecommunication lines, improving call clarity. Signal modulation and demodulation. Filters assist in separating carrier signals from information-bearing signals in modulation systems like AM, FM, and digital modulation. 10. Adaptive and noise-canceling systems. Noise-canceling headphones. Adaptive filters generate a reverse waveform to cancel ambient noise. Echo cancellation and communication. Filters dynamically adjust to changing echo patterns in phone calls or conferencing systems to reduce disturbances. Adaptive signal processing. Filters in adaptive systems continuously adjust to varying signal conditions, improving real-time noise reduction in dynamic environments. Filters are fundamental in shaping, isolating, and enhancing specific frequency bands across industries, from audio and communication to medical, power, and data systems. They contribute to precision, clarity, and efficiency in countless electronic applications.